All right, guys, Ivan here with another video. And as I promised to you, I'm posting the video of my competition. So here you can see me uh, in my first and the only competition so far. And it was junior bodybuilding above 75 kilograms. And I turned 23 two weeks before the show. And this is me, the second guy in the blue trunks, number three. So number three is on my trunks. I'm the second guy on the stage. So you can see, I mean, I don't want to analyze my physique too much because I'm not going to be objective about it, probably. I don't know how objective can I be, but I guess I can just say that my strengths are my legs. My chest is also fine. My shoulders are pretty good. And I have like wide shoulders, so I have pretty good lats as well. I guess I have decent triceps, but my biceps are my biggest weakness by far. Always have been, always will be. And also the back thickness. You know, I have wide clavicles and so I had pretty good developed lats as well. But in my gym shots, when I was training for this competition, I looked at my back and I was really happy with how it looks like. I thought I'm going to have the best stage, the best back on this stage. But when I turned around on the stage, it just didn't look that good. I was really disappointed with it. I don't know what was the reason. Was it over dieting or something? My diet was horrible. It really killed me. But probably my back was just simply undeveloped. And you can see, see in this pose that I have pretty good V taper. Everything else is there. But arms, you know, biceps, that is my biggest weakness. Everything else is pretty much fine from the front. But my arms, my biceps are just horrible. And from the back, my back is also very, very shallow. We will see that. And this is my strong pose. Uh, one of my strongest, not the strongest pose, front lat spread. Because I can actually spread the lats. I can show some lats. Most of these guys and most guys in general just show their arms. Very few people can actually spread the lats in the front lat spread. So I'm proud of that. Side chest, pretty decent pose for me. I can show, I can show some pretty good lag development and chest also. Again, my arms are not the best, but I think that's not that noticeable in this pose. So now we can go from the back and you can see that my glutes are nowhere near shattered enough. But they will be in next October. Anyways, my back, you can see, it's not that good. Maybe just think of conditioning, but I think I'll need to add a lot more thickness to it, which is exactly what I'm doing right now in this off-season. And uh, yeah, you can see the lats are pretty good. Yeah, especially when I spread them. That's, I mean, they're really wide, but I still lack the density in the mid-trap mid area. So I'm really working very, very hard on it. And you can see how I'm transitioning the poses. It kind of looks like Dorian Yates. And that wasn't my intention. I do look at him as my role model in bodybuilding, but I didn't really plan to copy his posing or transitions. I just try to show my physique the best way I can. But it kind of resembled Dorian Yates, I think. And uh, yeah, let's see what this next pose. Yeah, it's going to be uh, absent eyes. So I can do vacuum. I can do pretty good vacuum because I, I don't know. I just always was able to do it. But my rib cage is very narrow, so I don't think it's the best pose for me personally. What do you guys think about my vacuum? I think my rib cage is too narrow, and for that reason, doesn't look the best. I made so many mistakes in this prep. I had no idea what I was doing at the beginning. I lost so much muscle, and I didn't even get shredded enough. But those mistakes, I shall not repeat. I wrote them all down in my logbook, and I have everything written down, and I know a lot more now. And by the way, this guy won the competition. He's a great guy, he helped me a lot in the backstage. He trains at the same gym as Milo Sharchev, and he knows him personally, so I will share his uh, Instagram in the description below. Check him out, guys. Anyway, this is my posing routine, and the song was Morchiba Gained the World. And I can't play it right now because of the copyrights, but I felt like I gained the world. Seriously. Because I dreamt this moment for so, so long. I dreamt since I was like 17 until I was 23, so for like 6 years. And for all that time, that was my only dream. If anybody asked me, what do you want to become? What is your main goal? And it was to become bodybuilder. That was it. That's the only thing I used to say to people. And eventually I did that. I did that. And the feeling that I had on this stage, I don't know how to explain this. I can't put it into words. It felt like home. It felt just right. I felt so powerful, so accomplished, so good. And I just, I don't know, when I get, got back to backstage and back home with my friends and everything, I was high on life. I felt so good. And I encourage you guys, if you want to do this, do it. I don't know how, but figure it out, make a plan and do it somehow because it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. If this is really something you want to do, I don't know. By the way, I just want to talk about my plans a little bit. And aside from becoming a big YouTube channel, I also want to become a professional bodybuilder in classic physique category. I have 55 pounds approximately to add before I reach the weight cap. So that's a long road ahead of me. 
And what do you guys think? Do you think it's realistic for me to become a professional classic physique competitor or is it not? Just tell me what you think. Honestly, the goal is to become classic physique competitor professional and then if I can see that I'm growing beyond that, I would also like to go to the open class. But we'll see if that happens. That's just maybe a little bit too unrealistic. And I also wanted to say thank you so much guys for all these positive comments. On that photo of myself that I posted yesterday, I was really happy when I saw the positive comments and it really motivated me to go to gym and train like a beast. So thank you very much. I'm really, really happy that I made this kind of community and I really hope that we can grow and become big together. I wanted to show you who is the person behind the microphone. And I also thought that you would appreciate the fact that I'm not only talking the talk, but I'm also walking the walk. So I'm living and breathing bodybuilding 24-7. I'm not only doing it, I'm not only following it, I'm absolutely living it 24-7 all the time. So that's me, I am all about bodybuilding and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best guys, bye bye.